The financial world is experiencing something unprecedented. A precious metal that most investors barely think about is about to explode in price. Not because of monetary policy, not because of inflation fears, but because of something nobody saw coming. An industrial revolution happening in plain sight that's creating the biggest supply shock in commodity history. While everyone's focused on gold-breaking records and Bitcoin hitting new highs, silver is quietly setting up for the most dramatic price surge of any asset in 2025. The catalyst isn't coming from Wall Street traders or central bank policies. It's coming from rooftops, solar panels, an industry that's consuming silver at rates that would have been impossible to imagine just five years ago. Right now, the solar industry consumes 19% of all silver mined globally. That's nearly one-fifth of the entire world's silver production going into a single industrial application. But here's what should terrify anyone holding cash and excite anyone positioned correctly. That 19% is about to become 30%, then 40%. The mathematics are unavoidable, and the timeline is accelerating faster than supply can respond. This isn't speculation. This isn't theory. This is happening right now and the numbers are staggering. In 2024, solar panel manufacturers consumed 197.6 million ounces of silver. To put that in perspective, that's equivalent to the entire annual silver production of Mexico, the world's largest silver producing country, going exclusively into solar panels, and that demand increased by 64% in just one year. But the real shock isn't what's happened. It's what's about to happen, because the solar industry isn't just using more silver. It's transitioning to technologies that require double the silver per panel. Technologies that are becoming the new standard across global manufacturing. The old solar technology called PERC is being completely phased out by 2028. The replacement technologies, TOPCON, and heterojunction cells use one and a half to two times more silver per gigawatt of capacity. Let me show you what this means in real terms. China alone used 3,174 tons of silver for solar manufacturing in 2021. That figure more than doubled by 2024. We're talking about thousands of tons of silver disappearing into solar panels annually from a single country's manufacturing sector. And China produces over 80% of the world's solar panels. The solar industry has become the largest industrial consumer of silver on earth. Larger than electronics, larger than automotive, larger than jewelry manufacturing. And unlike these other industries, solar demand is accelerating exponentially because governments worldwide are mandating renewable energy transitions. The United States, European Union, China, India, every major economy has committed to massive solar deployment over the next decade. Here's where the mathematics become terrifying for silver supply. Global solar demand is currently north of 600 gigawatts annually. At current technology requirements, that translates to approximately 6,000 tons of silver consumption just from the solar industry. But remember, the technology is shifting to more silver-intensive designs. If the entire industry transitions to Topcon and heterojunction technologies, as is planned, that 6,000 tons becomes 9,000 to 12,000 tons annually. To understand how catastrophic this is for silver supply, consider that total global silver mine production is approximately 26,000 tons per year. The solar industry alone is approaching consumption levels that represent nearly half of all silver mined globally. And solar is just one industrial application. Electronics, automotive, medical devices, water purification systems, they're all increasing silver consumption simultaneously. The supply side of this equation is where the crisis becomes inevitable. Silver isn't mined like gold, where companies specifically target silver deposits. More than half of all silver comes as a byproduct of copper, lead, and zinc mining. These mines operate based on the economics of base metals, not silver. Even if silver prices triple, most silver production won't increase because the mining decisions are driven by copper and zinc markets. This creates a unique dynamic that most investors don't understand. Silver supply cannot respond to price signals the way other commodities can. When oil prices rise, companies drill more wells. When copper prices rise, companies open more copper mines. But when silver prices rise, silver production barely budgets because it's dependent on completely different metals. The Silver Institute, the industry's authoritative source, confirms this nightmare scenario. The global silver market has been in deficit for four consecutive years. Supply is falling short of demand by 182 million ounces annually. That's not a small gap. That's equivalent to the entire annual production of Peru, the world's second largest silver producer simply disappearing from the market every year. But the deficits are accelerating. 
Metals Focus, the leading precious metals research firm, projects that by 2030, silver supply may only meet 62 to 70% of demand. That's not a shortage, that's a supply collapse. Industrial demand is projected to reach 48,000 to 54,000 tonnes annually by 2030, while supply remains constrained at current levels. The solar technology revolution is the primary driver, and it's happening faster than anyone predicted. The industry is transitioning to N-type solar cells, which offer higher efficiency, but require dramatically more silver. Topcon technology, which is expected to represent 50% of global solar manufacturing by the end of this year, uses silver for both front and rear metallization, unlike previous technologies that only use silver on the front. What makes this transition unstoppable is the efficiency gains. These new solar technologies produce more electricity per panel, making them economically superior despite higher silver costs. Solar manufacturers have no choice but to adopt them because customers demand maximum efficiency. The entire industry is locked into technologies that require exponentially more silver, regardless of silver prices. The Chinese solar manufacturing boom exemplifies this dynamic perfectly. China has gone from producing virtually no solar panels two decades ago to manufacturing over 80% of global supply today. Chinese factories consumed 3,174 tonnes of silver for solar applications in 2021, worth $2.5 billion. That consumption more than doubled by 2024 as production scaled and technology shifted to more silver-intensive designs. Chinese domestic demand compounds the problem. The Chinese government has committed to massive renewable energy targets while simultaneously serving as the primary supplier to global markets. This creates dual demand pressure that guarantees continued silver consumption growth regardless of global economic conditions. The implications extend beyond simple supply and demand economics. We're witnessing a fundamental structural change in the global silver market. An industrial application that barely existed 20 years ago now consumes nearly 20% of global silver production and is accelerating toward 30, 40, potentially 50% consumption levels. This isn't a temporary demand spike that will normalize. This is permanent transformation of silver from primarily a monetary and jewelry metal to an essential industrial commodity for renewable energy infrastructure. The price implications are becoming impossible to ignore. Silver has already doubled from 2019 levels, jumping 50% in 2020 and climbing another 50% since early 2024. The metal reached a historic peak of $54.47 per troy ounce in October, marking a 71% rise year on year. But this is just the beginning of what analysts are calling an inevitable price explosion. Bank of America forecasts silver hitting $65 per ounce with an average of $56.25 for next year. But even these projections may be conservative given the accelerating industrial demand dynamics. Keith Newmeyer, CEO of First Majestic Silver, has repeatedly stated his belief that silver could reach $100 to $130 per ounce. Some analysts are projecting even higher targets, with consensus forecasts suggesting $133 to $143 per ounce by 2030, with extreme scenarios reaching $236. The mathematical reality is stark. Current silver inventory levels cannot sustain the projected industrial consumption increases. The London Bullion Market Association reports critically low silver stocks, with the bulk of inventory depletion occurring in China, where industrial demand surged 44% in a single year. China historically maintained silver surpluses due to production from imported base metal concentrates, but breakneck industrial demand growth is fundamentally altering local supply dynamics. What happens when an essential industrial metal faces supply shortages? History provides the answer. Palladium experienced similar dynamics in the automotive industry, rising from $500 per ounce to over $3,000 when supply couldn't meet catalytic converter demand. Lithium increased 20-fold as electric vehicle production scaled. But silver's situation is more extreme because the solar industry's growth trajectory dwarfs these previous examples. The solar industry is experiencing exponential expansion that shows no signs of slowing. Global solar installations are projected to reach 1,000 gigawatts annually by 2030 nearly doubling current levels. Each gigawatt of new solar capacity requires approximately 10 tons of silver using current technology. But remember, the industry is transitioning to technologies requiring double the silver content. This creates a feedback loop that accelerates the supply crisis. As solar becomes more efficient and cost-effective, deployment increases. Increased deployment drives higher silver consumption. Higher silver consumption tightens supply and increases prices but solar economics remain favorable even with higher silver costs because the efficiency gains offset material price increases. 
The automotive industry provides another acceleration factor that most analysts underestimate. Electric vehicles require three to five times more silver than traditional combustion engine vehicles. EV sales are projected to reach 30 million units annually by 2030, up from 10 million today. Each additional EV requires approximately one to two ounces of silver for electrical systems, charging infrastructure, and battery management. Simultaneously, the broader electronics industry continues expanding silver consumption. 5G infrastructure deployment requires silver for high-frequency applications. Artificial intelligence data centers consume massive amounts of silver for server components and electrical systems. Medical device manufacturing increasingly relies on silver's antimicrobial properties. Water purification systems use silver nanoparticles for sterilization. Every technological advancement seems to increase silver consumption, while supply remains constrained by geological and economic realities. New silver mines take seven to ten years to develop from discovery to production. Even if mining companies allocated unlimited resources to finding new silver deposits, production couldn't ramp up fast enough to address current deficits, let alone future demand increases. The recycling equation offers no relief. Silver recycling primarily comes from jewelry, photography, and electronic waste. But solar panels have 25 to 30 year lifespans, meaning silver installed in today's panels won't return to the market for decades. The solar industry is essentially removing silver from circulation permanently, at least for the foreseeable investment timeline. Financial markets are beginning to recognize this dynamic. Institutional investors are increasing silver allocations as industrial demand becomes undeniable. Exchange-traded funds focused on silver have seen significant inflows as sophisticated investors position for supply shortages. But retail investor awareness remains limited, creating an opportunity for those who understand the fundamentals. The geopolitical dimension adds another layer of complexity. China dominates solar manufacturing and is simultaneously the world's largest silver consumer. Chinese industrial demand is not driven by profit maximization alone, but by strategic government policy supporting renewable energy transition. This means Chinese silver consumption will continue regardless of price levels, creating permanent demand pressure. Trade tensions and supply chain security concerns are driving Western countries to rebuild domestic solar manufacturing capacity. The United States and European Union have announced massive subsidies for local solar production. This geographic diversification of manufacturing will increase global silver demand as new facilities come online while existing Chinese production continues expanding. The investment implications are profound for anyone willing to examine the mathematical realities. We're approaching what commodity analysts call a super cycle, where fundamental supply-demand imbalances create multi-year price trends that reshape entire markets. Silver appears positioned at the epicenter of this transformation, driven by industrial applications that didn't exist 20 years ago and are now consuming unprecedented quantities of available supply. The window for positioning in silver before widespread recognition of these dynamics may be closing rapidly. Once institutional investors and sovereign wealth funds fully grasp the supply mathematics, competition for available silver will intensify dramatically. Physical silver, silver mining companies, and silver-focused investment vehicles all offer different risk-reward profiles for capitalizing on what appears to be an inevitable price adjustment. The convergence of solar industry expansion, electric vehicle adoption, technological advancement and constrained supply is creating conditions for one of the most significant commodity price movements in modern financial history. The numbers don't lie. The mathematics are unavoidable. We're watching the setup for what could be the most explosive precious metals move of our lifetimes. While everyone chases the latest crypto trends and debates interest rate policy, the real story is unfolding in plain sight. An industrial revolution that's systematically removing silver from global markets faster than it can be replaced. The solar industry shock isn't coming, it's here. Four consecutive years of supply deficits. Demand growing at 64% annually. Technology transitions requiring double the silver content. And supply that can't respond to price signals because it's tied to completely different metals markets. This is the perfect storm for a price explosion that will make previous commodity super cycles look modest by comparison. Bank of America sees $65. Industry executives predict $100 to $130. Some analysts project over $200 per ounce. But here's what matters more than specific price targets. This isn't speculation based on monetary policy or inflation fears. This is mathematical certainty based on industrial consumption that cannot be stopped, reduced, or substituted. 
The question isn't whether silver will hit record highs. The question is whether you'll position yourself before the rest of the world recognizes what's already happening. Because once this supply shock becomes obvious to institutional investors, the opportunity to get positioned at current prices will be gone forever. The solar industry has given us the roadmap. The only question left is whether you're ready to follow it.